Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my Moon Knight pitch meeting reaction. Three, two, one. So, you have a new show for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we could do a Moon Knight series. Oh, like a, like a prank show? What? You run around, freaking show your bare butt to Sir Patrick Stewart? No. Mooning Knights is tight. No, I was thinking like a show about the Marvel character Moon Knight. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes more sense. That's more on brand for us, for sure. Yeah, so we're gonna meet this British guy, Stephen Grant, right? And he keeps blacking out and waking up in strange places. Oh, been there. But it turns out when he's blacking out, it's actually a split personality situation and this guy Mark Spector's taking over. Oh, so we're doing multiple characters played by the same actor? Yeah, they're gonna be constantly talking to each other, interacting and stuff. That's not, that's, that never works. Well, sometimes it works. It's just weird to watch one guy interacting with himself. It doesn't cut together well. Nobody wants to watch that. I mean, I hope, I feel like some people <laughs> might. <laughs> Alright, man, I guess we could give it a shot. Okay, great. So anyway, it turns out this Mark guy is the avatar of Khonshu, the Egyptian god of the moon. Okay. And so he has the ability to summon this badass superhero suit and become the Moon Knight. Oh man, I can't wait to see Moon Knight in action. And see him you will, sir. Oh boy. For about 15 minutes in the whole runtime. What? <laughs> yeah, not a ton of Moon Knight in the Moon Knight show. He also does this thing where he blacks out before big action scenes and just kind of comes to with the aftermath. Kind of want to see those happen. Well, too bad. <laughs> Alright. So anyway, Mark and Steven are going to kind of bicker over who gets to control the body as they try to stop this bad guy, Harrow. Harrow? Huh? What's his deal? Well, he wants to find this other god Amit's tomb so he can bring her back to life and she could kill anyone who has or will commit evil. Yikes. Yeah, and Steven sees that Harrow has this Amit style tattoo on his arm and he's doing that same thing already, judging people and killing them. Big yikes. So Steven's gonna team up with this woman, Layla, who's actually Mark's wife and try to stop this guy. Yeah, freaking stop this guy sounds like a real jerk. So eventually Kanchu brings them in front of all the other Egyptian gods to tell them about Harrow trying to find Amit's tomb. Smart. But then they bring Harrow in, and Harrow's like, actually, Khonshu isn't very nice, and Mark has mental health issues. So the gods are like, all right, well, Harrow's clearly done nothing wrong. But that's it? They just believe him? They just believe him. Yeah, that's right. Why doesn't Mark make him show that magical Emmet tattoo of his? Unclear. So then all the avatars leave, but this one lady stays behind and gives Mark a hint about some other thing he can find that'll help him out. Oh, very nice. So him and Layla go on another little adventure, and eventually they find this star map that'll lead them to Amit's tomb. Okay. But this star map was made thousands thousands of years ago, so Kanchu has no choice but to turn back the entire night sky to see what it looked like on that night. I mean, they have, like, iPhone apps that let you do that. Yeah, but he shifts <laughs> massive celestial bodies instead of opening the app store. Wow, people must freak out. Not really, no. This is the MCU. People see crazy stuff all the time. That's a good point. So anyway, then all the other gods punish Kanchu and imprison him inside a little Ushabti figurine. Oh, dang it. And so eventually Mark actually finds Amit's Ushabti, but Hero pops out and shoots him dead. Oh, that's fatal. It <laughs> is, except no, not really, because this is the MCU and death is rarely permanent. That's another good point. So Mark wakes up in this asylum-themed afterlife, and he finds Steven trapped inside a sarcophagus begging to be let out. So that's what happens after you die. Yeah, sometimes. So then they're walking around, and they find another sarcophagus that somebody's trying to get out of. Wow, so who's in there? Well, at the very end of the show, we're going to find out that there's actually a third personality inside the body named Jake Lockley. They don't open it up? Mark just found Steven inside one of those. Aren't they curious? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, they keep walking and they find a hippo. What? Yeah, it's this Egyptian <laughs> goddess and she brings them on a boat sailing through the afterlife. Okay. And she weighs their hearts to see if they're balanced and they can enter the field of reeds, which is like an eternal paradise kind of place, but their hearts aren't balanced. So what do they do? Well, Steven ends up sacrificing himself and turning to sand and being stranded in the Duat Desert so Mark can go to the field of reeds. Well, what about that Jake Lockley part of them? Shouldn't he be involved in this calculation somehow? He shut up, so then Mark is in the field of reeds, but he's like, we gotta go back for Steven. We can't leave him lost in the sands forever. Yeah, that'd be messed up. But the hippo goddess is like, it doesn't work like that, Mark. Oh, well, sounds like it's impossible to get him back then. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see, it immediately does work like that, Mark. Oh. Yeah, he just kind of magically runs right back into the desert and finds Steven immediately, and then some gates open up and they go through. Well, that worked out great. It did. And then also, Layla released Khonshu, so Mark and 
Steven get their healing powers back. How does she manage to free Khonshu? Well, it turns out all you have to do is smash the figurine and that does the trick. Oh, nice! But also, Harrow has everything he needs to set Amit free now, so the other gods show up like, what is going on? Who could be doing this? Do they not remember the meeting they just had about that? Yeah, no, they forgot about that, I guess. So they're like, who could it be? And then Harrow kills them all. Very rude. So then Amit is released and she's a very angry crocodile. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. So she inhales a bunch of souls and becomes super huge. And then Khonshu also becomes really big. How? By becoming really big. Sick. Yeah, so then there's gonna be this big final fight and also Layla has powers too now. Oh, she does? Yeah, the hippopotamus gave her some bug wings. This is a weird show. <laughs> kind of. So then Mark turns into Moon Knight and flies in to start kicking some butt. He flies now? He flies now. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow. And then it seems like Harrow is gonna kill Mark and Steven and some bad guys shooting at Layla, but only on the shielded part of her body for some reason. Uh-oh, so what's Mark gonna do? He's gonna do what he does best, black out and take care of everything off screen. Oh. Yeah, so that's the big finale. We don't, we don't, we don't see what happens. That's, I kinda wanted to see it. Well, too bad. So then they trap Ahmed inside of Harrow's body, cause this way they could kill her. Okay. But then Mark and Steven decide not to do it. What? Why not? Cause that's kind of a thing in movies and TV. The hero kills a bunch of people through throughout the movie, but then when it comes time to kill the big bad guy, they're like, no, 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 no. But this this is a god that wants to kill a bunch of people. Yeah, and so then Khonshu lets Steven and Mark free because they had made a deal. Oh, well, that's nice. It is, but then in a mid credit scene, we're gonna learn about that Jake Lockley guy, and Khonshu has him kill a bunch of hospital staff to get to Harrow and then kills him. Khonshu has Jake kill a bunch of innocent employees? He did, yeah, so what do you think? Well, it sounds like a great show. Amazing, so what are you thinking for casting? I was thinking Oscar Isaac for Moon Knight. Yeah, that's a great idea. And for Layla, uh, eh, we could slide into some DMs. What? <laughs> Oh, they fly out. Brilliant, Mr. George. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> well, that was my reaction. Let me know what you think. Like button, subscribe, comment, share. You know what to do. I'm High Heel Knight. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.